All right, everyone, welcome back to another Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes video with Fat Phil. Today we have our June 2024 account update. So let's get in here, guys. Let's talk about what's going on. What can we do to um, improve this account further? Where are we heading, right? Got a lot to go over here. Bunch of things happen that we've got to get into. So let's give a huge shout out to the channel members for their continued support. Hopefully those of you who caught the live stream enjoyed it. We got to get back into some roster reviews. Thank you guys for keeping the faith. Thank you for continuing to support me through all the good and bad times here. Let's, yeah, guys, June 2024. I can't believe that it, it's June of 2024. I'll be perfectly honest. All right, so this month, guys, was pretty kind of crazy. So let's kind of start off with uh, the first kind of little thing that happened here, which is right here. We took Mace Windu from Relic 3 to Relic 5. Again, you'll see a lot of this. We're preparing for the Naboo raid. He was one of those Galactic Republic Jedi. I'll kind of share that a little bit later, but getting him to Relic 5 was just a little bit of a pump up for me. It's something I've been putting off for forever. So now that he's Relic 5, I'm going to feel, you know, my account will feel a little bit better. Um, certain teams will get better and I'll just, you know, again, help me increase my score potential. Otherwise, what we did is we were finally able to unlock Bo-Katan Mandalore. She's got good mods, two out of her three Omicrons. I put it on her unique in the leadership. I held off on this one. And honestly, I've had no issues defeating Lord Vader, so I feel good about that. Like, this has been a good, definitely a good addition to the account, something that I've been very, very pleased on. Then we did get all of our Gungans to Relic 7. And fun fact, we still have plenty of resources to be able to take Jar Jar to Relic 7 plus some other upgrades that will eventually happen. So excited here. This was a big moment for the account. I am just kind of waiting on Jar Jar now. I don't want to spend any other resources until I know what I need for Jar Jar or I've got an extra Zeta to spare. So um, Gungans there. The reason why they're Relic 7, number one, that's what I want them at the raid. But also, like, I did want to be able to take advantage of the Boss Nass Datacron that I was able to roll. So, very, very excited to kind of get ready for that and move into uh, the Gungans for this raid. I guess you guys can't see that, right? Because my face is blocking it. That's why I went into it. Uh, but yeah, Gungans are here. Gungans are done uh, outside of Jar Jar. So, we'll wait for that event to come around. Again, I'm expecting early August, end of uh, July as the time for this, uh, for him to drop. So, Keep, t stay tuned for that. And then I caved on the live stream. I kind of, I was really debating it, kind of caved um, into the peer pressure that we went and got the Galactic Republic Jedi Lightspeed Bundle. So I did this for a couple of reasons, right? As you know, we got the news the other day that GL Ahsoka is going to be coming to Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. Again, I talked about, you know, this. And... Because of that, I need to start preparing myself not only for this raid, but for her eventually coming to the game. We got our first requirement already that, uh, that Snips is going to have to be Relic 9. So I have the resources to pull that off right now. I could do that, but I want to wait and see what the rest of these requirements are. I need to wait and see what's happening because there's other Relic 9s that I was also planning on doing. So I don't want to leave my guild out to dry, but I also don't want to put myself in a position where I completely cannot obtain this character because of other, you know, resources that I've spent. So it, this, you know, we're definitely at a very interesting place. And that kind of led me into this light speed bundle because it was five Relic 5s. Now, I already had Qui-Gon at Relic 3, so it moved him to Relic 5. But these, I mean, Kit Fisto and Eeth Koth had nothing. Plo Koon was gear 12 and Luminara was like gear 11. So getting these guys up to Relic 5 is huge. It saved me, not the, so much the Kyra tech, but the amount of blue, or not blue, but the amount of green and white signal data this saved was substantial, right? You're talking probably hundreds of pieces of each one, the Relic materials. Like this was a big step for me really really happy i'm hoping that they're all fantastic raid characters and again finally kind of having a relic plo will be nice for uh whoops having a relic plo will be nice for his ship the starfighter and you know again we're just going to kind of keep pushing and moving forward getting ready for uh obviously naboo raid kind of seeing what other relics we'd need to do and so just to kind of like look ahead to that we're gonna have to get master qui-gon padawan obi-wan at some point and then potentially my separatist droids. But I feel a lot better about being able to get there because I've invested, you know, because I bought that bundle, I'm going to have some more teams, some more leeway to be able to score well. So I am excited for that. I think it's going to be a very, I feel very 
good heading into this raid that I've at least got myself in a really good place um, that I can kind of figure out what I need to do. Now, obviously, like, what's going to come next? What are we, what are we going to do next? Um, so Afra is completely off the table, right? That is just done, dusted. She's well back now until we get GL Tano. So with, you know, Commander, or with the GL Ahsoka Tano coming, I still need to finish the stuff for the raid. So there's the next three relics that I will do are going to be Jar Jar, we'll probably do Luthen, and then the staff, Padawan Obi-Wan, and Master Qui-Gon. Those are kind of the next five relics that I would do and then we'll kind of revisit and see what else needs done for this raid because I still have b2 and droidica that are gear 12 potentially getting them up for this raid we'll kind of wait and see how what the best teams are what are the best characters and how are they working because if those two characters aren't that great for the raid or maybe only one of them is then I might only invest my rel you know resources there to you know boost my account as much as possible while saving what I can so um Sorry if you guys are getting that interruption of low battery on the headset, by the way. Shout out my headphones that need charged. Um, but yeah, I, it, I've i got to be, you know, I need to be honest with everybody that I can't just say, hey, screw the raid, Ahsoka's coming. I need to make sure I do by, right by my guild because there's 49 other people depending on me to pull my weight. And pulling my weight is something that you're going to hear me say a lot because I'm one of the smallest players in my guild. I've, I'm one of the lightest amount of galactic power and even though from a GAC ranking perspective I'm towards the top I'm middle of the pack to lower end on every other game mode simply based on roster size so I can't afford to be the worst in something because then they're going to be like Phil like come on man like everybody else is doing this you've got to you got to do the same you know we're, we're counting on you so that was another reason I bought that light speed bundle is I want to feel like I'm contributing to my guild, put my money where my mouth is, that if I'm an officer and I'm asking you to do this, I need to also do it myself. So I'm definitely kind of in that boat. Now, one good thing about the account is we still have a ton of Kyra tech left over even after doing those four Gungans. So even after doing all the Gungans there, I still have well over, um, you know, a thousand of the shock prods and just over a thousand now computers. So that is definitely an impact of Mandalore and Zepho rewards kind of building, right? That's a 200 extra Kyra tech a month every time we've gotten uh, Mandalore. And then for, it's 100 each time you complete Mandalore, so that's 200 a month. And then an extra 40 each TB from Zepho, so looking at another 80. So 280 Kyra tech a month just from TB, let alone everything else that I'm farming. The guild event currency too that comes along with those um, special missions and everything it's really changed the amount of Kyrotech that I can purchase and equip. And so I definitely am feeling that impact to the account. Now, one area that I've definitely noticed this account struggling is mods. Not even just, oh, I don't have enough slicing materials, but even just from a quality perspective, my mods are not, you know, I don't have the quality mods on my Gungans like I would like. Uh, speed wise, some of them are pretty low or, you know, didn't quite roll what I would want. Listen, I know that it will happen, right? I know we'll get there and it'll all be fine eventually, but I definitely have noticed that the quality of my mods is not necessarily dropping, but that those top teams like the Gungans, I can't just steal them from everything else because I'm using them. So I definitely have to really work on my slicing materials and that's just been a big problem, right? Um, it's definitely something that has been noticeably lacking on my account is quality mods and the slicing materials to do it simply with the smugglers run two, it doesn't give out a, you know the these pieces here doesn't give out these pieces i always am now running low on these because of all the light speed bundles and then um the other piece that's obviously a big factor here is even um this orange piece and the reason why this one's low is because you don't get nearly as much of this as you do these from the daily challenges, from your daily challenges, from your galactic challenges, your weekly challenges. So because you get significantly more of these, I kind of been running out of this stuff. So I'm running out of everything, right? And mods are kind of one of those things I pride myself in. And unfortunately, I definitely feel like I'm starting to lack behind on some of these teams and I'm really needing to get myself in shape. I've not been used to gearing and modding characters as fast as I have been with all of these new changes so i hope that something comes into the game to help me get more mods but that's the video guys that's the update for june 
2024. Let me know your thoughts. I love you all. May the force be with you, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers, my friends.